What's going on YouTube? It's Virgil doing up another video. Today we're going to be looking at a hockey jersey of one of the greatest forwards of all time. But before I get into this, I'm pretty sick right now. This is what happens to me all the time. Before summer and after summer, my body just kind of gets a little heated and I get all nasally and whatever. Uh, so please bear with me with my little illness right now. Um, also want to give a big shout out to Murph. That dude has been digging this jersey for a pretty long time. And um, everyone out there who also likes it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm just really sick right now, so please bear with me. But on hand here is my authentic Team Canada jersey from the 1972 Summit Series. Number seven, Phil Esposito, the undisputed team leader, as well as the leading scorer of that series. Beautiful piece all around. This is an authentic jersey made by Athletic Knits. And I didn't realize how, like, how good it was when I first saw it. I mean, I saw it on Kijiji and, like, I wanted it. But then when the guy, uh, the guy's wife showed up and she showed me the jersey, I was completely blown away with how it was constructed, with the material, the weight. Um, just one of those jerseys that you can't believe you found for a really good price. Getting into the detail, we got the 1972 Team Canada patch, Team of the Century. This roster was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, and that's Paul Henderson, his silhouette after scoring the series clinching goal in uh, Russia. The other side here has got the A in single layer tackle twill. Team Canada didn't have a main captain, but it had like four assistants, and I think the other three were Jean Rattel, um, Frank Mahovlich and I think Marcel Dion or Stan Mikita, can't remember, but they had four different captains and Phil Esposito was one of them. This white pointy maple leaf here, this is actually stitched onto the jersey. If you look carefully, you'll see the seams. And it also has got that uh, double layer elbow going on. If you look at the extra red stitch line going down the elbows, pretty sick. The back here has got Canada, each letter is individually stitched, and the number 7 in single layer tackle twill. The 7 and the A on the front were added on afterwards, I peeled off the numbers. What's also cool about this uniform is the fight strap. This isn't the authentic fight strap from the 1970s, this is a modern day fight strap. I didn't question if Athletic Knit did make these replicas or whatever. Um, I just know that I wanted it and it was pretty sick anyway, so there's the fight strap. Just to add a little bit more to the jersey. If you don't know anything about the Summit Series, please do so. It's a major, major milestone in hockey history, Canadian history as well. Um, there's a great documentary on YouTube called The Cold War on Ice. It's got interviews with some members of each team, including Phil Esposito, and from Russia, Vladislav Trichyak. So that's going to do it for my video. Hope you guys liked it. Please let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment and all that fun stuff. Check out the other Facebook pages, Kings of Throwbacks, uh, Merce Collectibles, HTF Nation, Jerseys, Kicks, and Lids, and check out my blog at virgilm.blogspot.ca. Want to give a big shout out to all the hockey fans throughout Canada. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care.